to go. Okay. Her name is Amy Jansen, and um, I was the primary nurturer for two baby girls, ages three and seven. Um, and on the morning of February 8, 2014, my daughter disclosed and uh, extreme sexual abuse, and I reported to the police and uh, what false accusations were used. Uh, 14 hours later, he had me arrested for felony terroristic threats, um, for changing a post-it note on his G-plus email, and uh, while hosting our daughter's seventh slumber birthday party with five little girls in our house. Um, told me he wanted the kids in foster care by the police. The police came out and took the uh, only evidence, and um, disclosing the child sex trafficking site that was found amongst other sites and they wiped it out and uh, my daughters were taken hostage by their father legally by Judge Richard C. Perkins of Carver County, Minnesota on February 27, 2014. Um, the next question is, how long you went without seeing your kids? It was 35 days before I got to hear my daughter's voices. Um, I just spent 40 days, my daughter's just spent 40 days this last time around going without. Um, whether your evidence or what kind of abuse was involved, if any, extreme sexual abuse, extreme psychological abuse, extreme uh, physical abuse, neglect. My five-year-old has six active di medical diagnoses. She's very sick. Um, my other daughter is very sick as well. They stopped taking x-rays because they can't find out what's wrong with her abdominal pain. Um, whether your evidence was covered up or disregarded, I've been on trial for felony terroristic threats where I faced 10 years in prison and for two years, Judge Richard C. Perkins assigned his public his former law clerk as my public defender and um, not only did the police take the evidence out of jurisdiction, but they wiped it clean and then they gave it back to my children's abuser before my trial. I'm currently in the Court of Appeals appealing the incompetence uh, order that came out on October 29th via my public defender, who is Judge Richard Perkins, former law clerk. Um, whether you were coerced into silence by whom? Judge Kevin Eide uh, put a gag order on me on May 12, 2015, after my Rule 20 results came up, three weeks after uh, my psych test came back clear. Um, which officials involved? The DAs, the law enforcement, social services. My children's father's girlfriend is currently friends with all of Carver County Social Services, and they protect him very well. There's been seven mandated uh, reports of sexual abuse and neglect since they've been in, in his care in the last uh, 20 months, two years. Whether, uh, whether the psychologist, the therapist, everybody's in on it. Whether you, your kids, suffered trauma symptoms. <laughs> whether you were financially devastated. Whether your career was damaged or destroyed. I have a $60,000 law degree in paralegal right now. It doesn't mean shit. Um, my career is trash. My family is gone. Everything is gone. Uh, but that's nothing compared to what's happening to my beautiful daughters. And we are, we've been in supervised visits for two years. Two years. And um, for two hours a week. And I just paid $275 on Saturday to see my children for the first time in 40 days now, this time. Uh, $275 bucks for two hours to see my children. When I live across the street from their school, we have to go somewhere else and pay someone. Because their abuser doesn't think it's a, a good idea. So, um, let's see. How do you feel about what was done to you and your children? No words. It's a nightmare. It's 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 the twilight zone. Um, it's that, that's really all. I even know how to explain it. It's retarded. 
and to find out that I am one of thousands, tens of thousands of other mothers and children out here, uh, that, that's, that's disturbing. And um, I said to Judge Perkins that day when he uh, signed, he said I was rambling when I was discussing the sexual abuse in the court hearing where they stole my children. And um, I said to him when I, I put my hands out on the desk and I said, I said, I'm going to have the media on up in here. And I didn't know how in the heck I was going to do that. But um, here we are. And we're dressing him at the time. He was for victory.